Hello guys, and welcome to what is not a car meet, but is me <laughs> fixing, this is part two of the nightmare I had the other day with the brakes failing and the arch looking a mess and coming off. So um, here we are, Kirsten's brought her fucking skip along with her, got some reinforcements, and this is where we've got so far. <laughs> so these sexy guys are, are finger in my arch at the minute. <laughs> All just watching in preparation. So these are the wide arches. I painted these, they're actually okay. And they're being bowled on. With uh, different size bolts, but uh, we'll get we'll just get over that point. Fitment's actually not too bad. But yeah. So we'll come around this side. This one's also been stuck on isn't ready yet but it's stuck on with one on so underneath here we only found good things so there was no rust on the arches which is good now i've got a bit on the brace here which is where it hasn't been you can see where it hasn't been sprayed so this is going to need to be uh, under sealed properly on this here where, where the arch sits and this one here is probably going to need to be replaced at some point it's not really very good this is what holds the end of the bed up at the chassis, the one on the other side is much worse, so you'll see in just a minute uh, the issue I've got with that one. This one's actually not too bad. Got two more paint on this one. A bit of rust there and a bit of rust there, but no holes. <laughs> yeah, so this arch is much better. Um, we haven't actually fitted the front yet, they're going to be a struggle, but they don't actually fit up with their stock holes either. So we're having to make holes to make it fit. But yeah, this side is definitely better than the other. This is the cleanest corner of the truck. Weight reduction at its finest. It's obviously got worse since last time. The repair has kind of worked, but now we've lost it here. And all of this is all gonna go. So for now, we're gonna have it patched over. We're gonna put the new covers on. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to be removing this whole panel and I've got a nice clean one to go on. Test with like the camera. But you. <laughs> but there we go, that's where we're at. Look at these two beautiful men, look at them. <laughs> it's just like, why have I come here today? <laughs> you enjoying yourself there, mate? Yeah, I'm loving that. <laughs> you sound like it. <laughs> so yeah, we're having to make it fit different size nuts all the way around. <laughs> That's how we, uh, how we play it. It's got to be match up, so we used three small nuts and three large ones. So yeah, the, the stock holes are fitting too far down, so we've had to cut new holes to make them fit. But yeah, I think the final product is gonna be all right. I need to get some covers for these, because they're gonna rust, but also, you know, it just blends a little bit better having the black covers on them. So we've got to get those as well. That fine trim. <laughs> he's beard nut. Yeah, trim it down a little bit. <laughs> and let's look at this beast. He's just going to lift the truck up in a minute by himself. <laughs> Here he is, and show us around your uh, very small car. Oh, small, but that's what we've done. Uh, Land Rover Discovery TD5. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing special really about her. It's been tuned. No, got an EGR delete. Uh, standard turbo, tuned to about 180 horses. Silicon hoses on just the main bits that needed for the tune. Uh, it's down in there, yeah. Yeah, got the EGR delete there. Silicon hose one, and the oh, second yeah, silicon it. hose on the other side. Nice. Have I been to call on it? No, standard intercooler, standard radiator. So heavy duty shocks and springs on the front and the rear. Yeah. It's clean though, isn't it? Yeah, she's. Yeah, washes up pretty well when look uh, how clean it is. And she's not been taken off road. She's a bit of a tarmac princess at the minute, coming to the meets <laughs> and that. It's nice, I like this. Yeah, good old heavy duty winch bumper. Did you put that on there yourself? No, that came with it. That's so great, just, mate. I just gotta give the headlights a bit of a clean up. Love it. At least, you know when it's, at least you know when this is uh, out of water. Yeah, I'll be, mo <laughs> be moving that at a later date. Yeah. And it's got the custom Land Rover livery as well, mate. Looks good. I actually think the Mile 200 looks better when it's dirty anyway, but. Run us through what the hell's going on with these, because I can't even literally see anything. Uh, these are literally just standard uh, commercial stick, well, stickers, window tints, just to stop anyone seeing in the back. 
Yeah. What's so special about this one? Because it's a special edition. Uh, it? Specialist vehicle, uh, so one left Land Rover, it came as a commercial two-seater. We can do anything in the back. Show us the back if you want. Did you get a dare show us in the back? No, I don't show in the back. <laughs> the, only, the only good thing in the back is a horse mask. It's because he's got a... <laughs> It's because he's got a monster butt plug hiding in there, that's yeah, what it is. That's, that's the part of the trick. Love it. That's the exhaust. No silence, well, there's a little bit of a silence. Yeah, it's only got one silence on the, the tip. rear. <laughs> the tip is like the same size as the actual silence here. <laughs> yeah, she growls when she goes. Yeah. Got a pop popcorn limiter on her. Black smoke. It'll shock a few cars when you pull up to the lights, you'll put it that way. Yeah. Steps ahead of me at the minute with mine anyway, mate, but no. And what a beauty. And you've come along to help me with my Japanese rust box today. Yeah, make a British rust box look not so good again. Not, yeah, just make it look a bit better. Yeah. Lovely. Then we come on to the Audi. Must say, one of the cleanest black cars I've ever seen. Normally black cars are absolutely renowned for being scratched to bits, but paintwork as you can see try and get a bit that has got a bit of road dust and stuff on it is really really clean give him a good check out on his Instagram he's got a little bit of a red BCCM hiding around on here I said just give him half points for that because then I got half a logo but you know that's right oh yeah true <laughs> bad at all Back to the Quattro. I do like the wording on that, it's nice, really, really nice. Nice twin exit on that as well. That's great. Come down to the side, we have got these beautiful, I think they're RS6 alloys, they're 19s. They are obviously diamond cut with the government wear off set. Lovely set of nice pretty calipers behind there as well. It looks great. Really sets the side off. The insides of the lenses have been sprayed black with the red accent around the headlight, which is really, really nice as well. As well as the carbon accents that really finish the front end off. I think it's had those installed all around the car, which I'll show you in a minute. So guys, it's powered by a V6, 3 litre TDI. Engine bay is absolutely beautiful. Running on down here, he's got a nice lip on there, Maxton kit. Actually nice to see a Maxton kit lip that actually fits. Really sets the front end off with a removable plate as well, which is freaking awesome. He's actually used um, water hose to make that come off of there, which is really good. So the front end looks awesome. Yeah, this one's cracked inside here though. It's only thing that's cracked. But yeah, I must admit, it looks a hell of a lot better. Yeah, on what fault? The far bottom one. On the 17? Yeah. Yeah, 17's Two real men deciding where they're going to put their bolts to. <laughs> so where are we at now then? We're just trying to uh, put the arch back in. Yeah, we? it's taking the bottom corner off to try and fit the inner wheel arch in again. Yeah. Let's use the jet watch this thing does later on. I can't wait to see how it looks. It's going to look all right. And around to mission... Mission 2. Yeah. Here he is, ripping holes into my filter. <laughs> Look at that fucking strength! Look at that fucking strength he's had to put into that. Straight through my arch. Look at the right. Lovely mismatched bolts. Love them. <laughs> it's Japanese for a reason. Isn't it? <laughs> These guys love it. They love breaking stuff. But yeah, this is where we're at. Kirsten's keeping the uh, keeping the other girl entertained. That girl, girls are over here. Kirsten's fucking skip. Toyota Corolla skip. She's even wearing sheep today, that guys. It's got a lovely sheep on. Uh, see how far she sits forward because she looks at the steering wheel. Got no carpet, guys. Just thought we'd uh, we actually got no carpet. It's nice though. Although, uh, front fitment ain't too bad. The back, oh, I would let down. It's way too high on the back. Yeah, it's not very good, Kirsten. 
I want to be able to get one finger in there. Get your spanner out there. Maybe. It's very clean though. What's clean as our shoes? What are those? <laughs> what are they? These are just my work shoes. Kirsten needs some toothpaste. Too much on her teeth, you to put some on her lights. <laughs> this is alright. How much do you spend how much do you spend for this uh, fly catcher then, Kirsten? I'm not telling you. Fucking three Welsh dollars. What's wrong with you? Why'd you not? <laughs> <laughs> it's like when the camera turns. Look, she doesn't even give it. She's like, I don't give a shit. Kirsten's just like when she sees a camera, she runs. But yeah, hit her up. She's a virgin and she's single. Some fine cut precision here, lads. I'll try to slice your finger. Try not to. <laughs> at the moment, we can't actually fill it up with diesel, which is good because it doesn't actually use any diesel at the moment because it's sat on the dry, fucking broken the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Carbon fiber on the wing mirrors. We'll have as well as it comes round the wing mirrors onto the insides as well, which looks great. As we continue through, absolutely lovely interior. With the carbon all the way down the side of the door as well. A little sweeping effect looks lovely. Into here, classic Audi dials, absolutely gorgeous S line steering wheel, and again, the carbon surround is continuing on into the interior like that. Absolutely beautiful. Now, back to this pile of Japanese shit. I mean, almost as bad as this pile of Japanese shit, but that's as much cleaner than mine. Oh, yeah, we've got, we've got little and large as well, though. Yeah, your car looks or not so rusty and rusty in some places. <laughs>